Yamato Nishiki, the inverted aquarium is gone. Ochiba, look at that. Big baller status. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Shh, don't tell anyone. I'm being bullies. I want to show you guys something. Here they are. Oh. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back on another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. On this channel, we talk about everything aquatics, whether it be freshwater, saltwater, goldfish, koi ponds. We do local fish door tours, fish rescues, product reviews, and DIY projects in the hobby. I am super excited for this video because we are here in West Sacramento at Koi Enterprise. This place is becoming like my home away from home. Shh, don't tell anyone, all right? I am standing out front here with Anthony's beautiful koi show pond. Check out this beautiful pond. Look at all his beautiful koi. Look at them all. He has just about every species of koi you can imagine in this beautiful show pond. I love the way it's scaped too. All the way down from the rooter to the tutor. From the rooter to the tutor. Well, Ohana, if you guys haven't guessed why I'm here, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a line that the Queen of Pop said. You know, Britney Spears. I think she said something like, Yeah, oops, I did it again. Your boy actually picked up another wish list koi. Now, let me explain a little bit more in detail about this koi and how I got it and how easy it was to get it. I'm talking about the Koi Enterprise app, now available for Apple and Android. Download it, it is completely free. But not only that though, it makes purchasing imported Japanese koi so simple, so fun, and it makes it so scary because you may get addicted like your boy. So the reason why I haven't been talking too much about the app is because I didn't really know much in detail about the app. But now that I made my first purchase using the app, I'm gonna give you guys a little demonstration and I'm gonna give you guys some hacks. Yeah, the Koi Enterprise app hack. That's what I'm gonna call it, all right? Check it out. Now I'm gonna show you guys a short little demo video on how to use the app and how simple it is. So let me go ahead and pull up that sample video right here. There it is, that is the app in my phone. I'm gonna go ahead and click it, it'll open it up. This is the main page. Um, I'm gonna scroll down though. As you can see, there's dry goods, there's medications. Now we're gonna scroll back up to the actual live stream. Now I'm gonna click into the live stream and open it up for you so you guys have an idea of what's going on in this live stream. Anthony makes it super fun, great host. He explains a little bit in detail about every coin. When he wants to go into really fine detail, he will do that, all right? Now the prices, everything is right there. It shows you up at the top how much the koi is. The price will vary. It starts off at $50, and I believe I've seen them go all the way up to $1,000. So there's uh, different grades of koi, if you will. They're all imported from Japan, but you can see as the price gets higher, the color intensifies, the size gets bigger, and some of these koi, if you guys want certs, which are certificates, they come with certificates from the actual breeder from Japan. So that's for those big baller status guys. Check it out. The way to purchase the fish is super easy. You can see the bar up at the top. You can click that bar anywhere up top if you wanna purchase the fish, or you can just click that Koi Enterprise icon that says buy, that simple. And that's the reason why your boy is coming here almost like every week to shoot a video is because I'm addicted. What can I say? I got Koi problems. KP is what I call it, all right? Koi problems, I call it KI or key, Koi issues. And a lot of you guys out there have the same problems I do. So I don't feel bad about myself. Okay, so there are two ways of purchasing your koi. You can use PayPal, which makes it super simple, super convenient, you don't have to input anything, and or you could actually use a debit card or a credit card and save it on file. Now, I highly suggest that you do that. This is the Koi Enterprise hack. I don't even know why I'm sharing this with you guys because you guys are gonna know my secret, all right? So basically, if you wanna fish, but somebody has it in their cart, let's just say they don't purchase it, which happens a lot. You wanna get one of your credit cards or your debit card on file, have it saved there. So you will put that fish on your wait list because somebody has it in their cart. Now, that person does not buy the fish. And let's just say you're sleeping and it's one, two, three o'clock in the morning that fish becomes available, right? For the next available person. But because 
you have your credit card on file and it's showing Koi Enterprise that you are really interested in that fish, that is the hack. It's not turned on yet, but it's going to be turned on. I have my credit card inside the database, so I'm ready to roll. So I'm not worried about anything. If I do miss the fish, I'm like, dang it, I want it. I know if I hit that wait list, because I have my debit card on file, I'm gonna be the next in line to grab that fish. So there is your hack. I hope you guys understand how the app works. It's super simple. Koi Enterprise, download the app, it's free. A lot of you guys save the drama for your mama. I highly recommend Koi Enterprise app to get your Koi fish. Now he does ship anywhere in the US. You can be in New Hampshire, you can be in Texas, you can be in Florida. You want a beautiful imported Japanese Koi? He ships anywhere. All you have to do is pay a $60 shipping fee. It is next day. Not only that though, you get up to 10 Koi for $60. So if you got seven or eight Koi, $60, a one-time overnight fee those fish will be shipped right to your front door that easy. Now that we're talking about all these fish, ah, I'm gonna go get my fish and I'm gonna share these two fish with you guys. One of them on my wish list. So I'm super excited to show you guys. And there's a reason why too. We're gonna go into a little bit of history of this fish. So I'll see you guys in a second. We're gonna go ahead and teleport from West Sac to Wheatland, California, Hawaiian punch out. Whew, just like that, we are back home here in Wheatland, California. Behind me, the above ground pond. As you can see, I have this pop-up tent that's keeping it shaded nice and cool. It's about 95 degrees today. The water temperature in the above ground pond is about 73 degrees last time I checked. Now, it's got up to about 100, a little over 100 degrees here, and I have this canopy which saves the pond. You can see the direct sunlight would be hitting the pond right now, which would be cause a huge algae bloom in the above ground pond, and we've seen the algae accumulate here in the above ground pond. But since I've added this pop-up tent, keeps the water cool. I think I've seen it at its highest point at 78 degrees when it was 100 degree weather because of this pop-up tent shielding that direct sunlight. Now, before I go on any further and showing these beautiful, lovely koi to you guys, this is the perfect opportunity right now. Hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Click that bell, turn it on. It's just gonna notify you when I upload a new video. That is it. It's that simple and it's absolutely free. Also, don't forget, tomorrow is Thursday. That is the live sale going on. Go download the app, Koi Enterprise, okay? Go check it out. If you don't buy any Koi, it's okay. Just go check it out, it's really cool. Anthony is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to the Koi, and you'll learn something. Even if you're starting to get into the hobby and you wanna learn more about Koi, check it out. It's almost like a free online like schooling about Koi. You learn so much. And then you'll get the bug, and you'll probably buy one, and then two, and then three, and then next thing you know, you're an addict like me. Now, before we actually get into the Koi, I wanna show you guys something. Right behind me, I'm gonna flip the screen, and I'm gonna show you guys what I did to kind of spruce up and fancy Tiki Falls 4.0. Let me show you. Now, when we moved here, there was like this big, gray, ugly, like, I don't know, flower bed that was here. I'll show you guys a picture of it. You see it? Yeah, that was a flower bed that was here. We didn't really like it. And um, your boy ripped it out, actually put in this nice black Spanish beach pebble and replanted with asparagus plants. We got a red carotine right there. I believe this is a gardenia. We got a hibiscus there, another asparagus plant there, and also another hibiscus plant. And then on this side here, we have a jasmine right here. Right here is tuberose that's coming in. We have another hibiscus right here. Next to the hibiscus is another red cordine. It adds a little color too, you know, which I love that red. And then we also have another hibiscus right there. I wanted to show you this black pebble rock that goes all the way around the air conditioner unit. Your boy took some time and did it right. Look at that, huh? It goes all the way around, even in the back. It actually made this AC unit look cool too. <laughs> it made it look like it's brand new. It's not though. But I just wanted to show you guys what we did here. Your boy used his little uh, landscaping skills and made this look a lot nicer without that ugly, beat up, gray flower bed. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna introduce to you the two newest members of the Above Ground Pond and the Ohana. Check them out. Here they are, Ohana. Look at the two newest, latest, and greatest koi added to the collection. Now, let's go ahead and start off with this one right here. This is an Ochiba. This one was on my wish list 
for a while. I've always wanted to get a really beautiful Ochiba. Now this Ochiba is a little bit different now. It is a Ginrin, as you can see, those beautiful sparkles on top of the fish, that is the Ginrin. And this is an, a beautiful Ochiba, just a beautiful body too for a little guy. And like I said, when I say little, he's probably about four inches, four to five inches. Beautiful, beautiful fish though, look at him, huh? Isn't he gorgeous? Now, it's super important to have an Ochiba in every koi pond. And here is like a little bit of a background on the Ochiba Koi. The Ochiba Koi is a fairly new variety of koi created in the mid 90s by crossbreeding a Chagoy and a Saragoy. The result is a koi with a silver gray background or base skin color overlaid with a striking pattern of bronze or gold. As you can see in this beautiful Ochiba has all those characteristics. Being bred from two of the most friendliest kinds of Japanese koi, the Ochiba koi fish is one of the friendliest koi breeds. Many koi collectors introduce Ochiba into their koi ponds for the express purpose of encouraging the pond's population to be more social. So this koi right here is sort of like, I wanna say the leader of uh, making all the other koi who are skittish be more social. They are one of the friendliest kois to have in your koi pond. That's why it's so important to have a beautiful Ochiba in your koi pond. And they get really big too. So these guys will grow up to be pretty big size koi. But this one here I had to have because he's a Ginrin. Beautiful. I love the sparkles up top. I just had to share a little background of this koi with you guys and why it was on my koi wish list. Now let's talk about this beauty right here. Now this beautiful platinum white with the orange body is a Yamoto Nishiki. Beautiful, beautiful koi. Uh, I'm not gonna go into detail with this. You know what I'm going to do? So instead of me trying to break down this fish's name and why it's called this, I'm gonna let a true professional handle this, all right? So my boy Anthony gives a really good detailed description of this beautiful koi. It kind of made me fall instantly in love with this koi, the way he was describing it, its markings. So this is actual footage from the live sale the other night. Check it out. Oh, this is a nice one. This one's called, are you ready? It's a mouthful, Yamoto Nishiki. Yamoto Nishiki because it has black, okay? It's a metallic fish with this orangey metallic color and it's got black. If it was just white and orange, it would be a, who can guess, who can guess? Huh? Huh? Kikusui, but because it's got black, it's Yamoto Nishiki. I don't number. 384 for this beautiful Yamoto Nishiki. 384, this one I'll hold up, Grace, just so I can get, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Remember guys, it's a live show and <laughs> anything can happen. Uh, I just want to see how clean that head is. And it's a squirmer. It's a squirmer. It's okay. You don't want to be in there. Okay. I understand. Anyway, item number 384. Now you guys understand why I let the professional handle that one there. But aren't these two beautiful, beautiful koi? So we're going to go ahead and add them into the above ground pond as you can see super skittish this guy is super active man oh i love these guys here's the ochiba ginrin we're gonna go ahead and release him first there you go buddy there you go be free oh look at him look at him oh that ginrin is gonna look so nice look at him He's just going right in. You know what? It's nice too, guys. I didn't even realize this, but I did get rid of the cinder blocks, like I said. Remember? Yep, where I had the inverted aquarium, and the inverted aquarium is gone. It was just kind of a bucket list thing I wanted to do. I forgot to tell you guys that. It's been gone. It's been down for a while. Um, but yeah, so this is giving actually the fish a lot more space to swim and also not bump it by accident. Um, some of the fish were getting a little scuffed because of the sharp uh, corners on the cinder block. So I'm actually kind of relieved I got it out, but I also wanted to do that inverted aquarium. Now, if you guys haven't seen the inverted aquarium uh, videos, I actually made a playlist. I'll put it up above right there. Go ahead and click that little card and uh, go check out the inverted aquarium. That cinder block thing in the middle kind of just distracted them. Now you can actually see them swimming through. It's time to release this beautiful baby. Come here. Kind of doits too, scaleless, you know? So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. There we go. Look at that, huh? Oh my gosh, that metallic white with the orange. 
Ooh, what a stunner. Gosh, look what's going on with the uh, Ochiba over there being chased by the Sarasa goldfish. Look at them all. You see them? Look at them. Look at, jeez, man. Let them swim around. Don't stress them out. Look at, right there, being bumped around. Jeez, leave these guys alone. I think these Sarasa goldfish are just being mean. Just on his tail, look at. Yeah, I'm so glad I got that one. Big shout out to Anthony over at Koi Enterprise. Oh, this was just kind of a, a fish that I saw on the live set. Oh, look, you can see the tunnel. See as they go through the tunnel? Pretty neat, huh? Their colors are so vibrant that you can actually see them in the tunnel. That's a big tunnel that I have. I put both of the little tunnels together and made one big long tunnel. So if Fitz wanted to swim through there, he will uh, feel a little safe. There's my beautiful Ochiba being chased around. Gosh, geez, look at it. Man, those Sarasa goldfish are kind of being bullies right now. Now let me know down in the comments, Ohana, what you guys think of the Yamato Nishiki and my Ochiba. Two beautiful koi. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Big shout out to Anthony over at Koi Enterprise. Don't forget, download the Koi Enterprise app. It's absolutely free. Go check them out tomorrow, Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go check out the live sale. You guys will absolutely love it. Other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha. Oh.